Okay, so in this video, we are continuing to test our uh, create yearly report sequence. So I have tried to test it uh, before this video, and one important note here is that on this on element appear activity, make sure that this repeat forever uh, property is set to false. Okay, and what else? Is there anything that we need to change? I think we can test it now. So make sure that this page is open. And let's try to run our program. So what I want to test is the download. Uh, the download and clicking the two types of notification. Okay. This is the download part. So, again, after the bot downloaded that, it will close the notification and then read the CSV. So if you were able to copy the same in, all, in that sequence, you should also notice uh, on your uh, lower version of your desktop that it might open the Excel. Maybe if your PC is fast, you will not see this. But let me check on this one. Hey, where are you now? Yeah, there. As you can see, this icon, I just don't want to touch my mouse. Yeah, what it does is it's reading the CSV because it needs to capture the, the value from that file and then merge that value to the yearly report Excel file. So that yearly report Excel file will be created if it's not existing yet. If it's existing, if it's already existing, what the tool will do is just to append the the new value captured from the the downloaded monthly report file but okay so i think uh uh this is the issue that i encounter on on the loop on the month too because what it is supposed to do is that uh after 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 an item after a month after the selection on a month it should uh, go to the next month which should be February on this example and select that value in the month drop down but I think it's having uh, the bot is having issue with that because maybe there's an action associated with this month element so I need to have a resolution for this so let me just uh, stop the process now So what I want to do is, I will refresh the page, okay, I will refresh the page and input the tax ID in year again, so it could select the month value. Well, let's just try. So we need to put that, we, let's copy the type into tax ID, let's copy this one and paste they should be paste after this excel application scope yep and then the next one is the year let's copy this activity and paste that in oops Paste that in here. Right. Now let's try. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to refresh the browser. I need to refresh this page first. So to do that, I need an attach browser activity. So let's indicate this. 
in put that inside. So we need to put on the do uh, of the attached browser the type into tax ID and click the year. Alright, now I think we can test it again. So let's refresh this page. And that problem only occurs whenever there's a file downloaded. So let's try. I think it's on the reading CSV and merging uh, activity now. Let's just wait for that. I hope that February month doesn't have an available data so we can test the click pop up activity. Yeah, I can see the Excel. Okay, I think I forgot the refresh browser. Oh my god, let me just stop that. I'm really sorry for that. Yep, I forgot the refresh. You should have this activity prior inputting the vendor tax ID in clicking the new year. I'm really sorry for that. Now we test again.
Alright, so I think we've seen the two sample pop out, and now there's an available report again. Now that's the report of the oh that's the refresh activity that we just did. First type of pop up. And this an available Excel again. I think we're good at this time, so I will now uh cut this process or sorry, I'll just stop this process. I think it's working fine now. We were able to test the two types of pop-up. It was able to close them. And when there's a file available, it was able to download that file and measure the yearly report. Well, let me just check what we have in here. So I should see values in here. But I think we have two months. Uh, we have two uh, file available for two months and the value or content of those files should be uh, included on this file so yep I can see the one for April and the first one should be January okay yep so these are the two months that we that we downloaded and as you can see this value are appended on the yearly report path and you can see you can see here that there's no monthly report file because if you can remember on our workflow every time we read that value we are also deleting it so well that's all for this uh, create yearly report sequence so see you on the next video for the next sequence